Hey there. So, uh, last week, whilst I was working on uh, putting together Zan's Diamond in split time opposites with toroids, uh, Cory san put in a request on the TechPoy Facebook group for a video on Zan's Diamond and all of the different hybrids you could produce with it. Now, um, there's a wealth of different stuff to be found inside Zan's Diamond with hybrids and the like, so I'm splitting this up into two videos. This first video is going to be on uh, just the basic algorithm of Zan's Diamond and uh, what I'm calling the polyrhythm hybrids based upon Zan's Diamond. Next video is going to be on what, for lack of a better term, I'm calling the monorhythm hybrids and uh, what Damien has recently christened uh, third order caps, yeah? So to start with, um, we've talked about Zan's Diamond on this blog before, and it's a really, really elegant pattern. Um, it works in a lot of different frameworks, and it's, it, it's got a kind of balance to it that even the layperson can totally see and appreciate. Um, one of the ways that you can approach it is to see it as a Diamond Mode 4 petal anti-spin flower that has been bisected both horizontally and vertically, such that uh, where you would normally be producing a four petal anti-spin flower, you're going to produce a quarter of it at a time and then immediately shoot across the flower via one of those uh, horizontal or vertical traverses and go immediately for the corner that is opposite the corner you just visited. And in that way you produce this very striking eight step pattern that gets you through each corner in a multitude of ways. You can also think of this as, uh, if, if you don't want to think of the side and the top bits as being all the same point, um, this is actually a really interesting octagular or octagonal pattern wherein uh, you basically traverse each vertice and each line segment once, and it comes out looking something like almost Celtic knotwork, you know? Uh, also, if you're into third order motions or uh, fractal flowers, which we're still kind of ironing out what the vocabulary is on both of those. Uh, this is a pattern that appears in those kind of breakdowns as well, uh, especially third order motions, wherein it's uh, almost like a triketra-like extension of a four petal anti-spin flower. And really, uh, if you look at the path that my hand is following as it goes around, it looks very much like a four petal anti-spin. Cool. So. Of course, we have access to all the timing and direction combinations inside of this shape. This is another thing that makes it very elegant. Um, so, for example, we can play it uh, same time, same direction. We can play it split time, same direction, etc. Um, but things get interesting once uh, one of the segment, what one side of it becomes uh, an extension rather than an anti-spin. So, say I can keep the Zans diamond algorithm with my right hand, even as my left hand produces an extension all the way around. And what comes out of it is something that, you know, shares some characteristics of a uh, Mercedes that is like a triketra versus extension, but does so in a way that travels around in kind of a cool fashion, right? And the cool thing is, is that uh, the properties of this mean that as you're going through this pattern, you will pass through all of the opposites, timing and direction combinations at least once. and I'm not mistaken, four times, and uh, you, you have access to this in all the different timing and direction combinations. So for example, I could switch my hands into opposite split time and produce a pattern that is going to cycle through split time, same direction, and same time, same direction, like so. Um, so I've gone ahead and I've videoed out all the different uh, basic and hybrid patterns that have worked out so far with this. So I'm going to go ahead and break to show you that now.
Cool. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, be back here next week for a discussion on what happens when these hybrids of ours maintain timing and direction throughout. Yeah? Awesome. Thank you for watching, and uh, have yourselves a great week. Peace.